Hello everybody, Gigi Dragon here with another episode of FTL Mod Playthroughs. This time around we're playing with a mod by a little man named Jeff the Boarding Drone. That's one of those names that just always brings a smile to my face. Anyways, Jeff the Boarding Drone was so kindly enough as to not board and breach my rooms, but instead build me a new cruiser called the Rebel Light Cruiser. Now, uh, this ship, as you can see, has been spliced together by with all manner of horrific things. I don't know, personally I'm not a big fan of the aesthetic, but I'm sure there's other, peop other people out there who are, and it definitely blends well with the, uh, <laughs> the rebel aesthetic, I believe. You know, it looks like a rebel ship, not just because it is a bunch of rebel ships, that, that part is obvious, but you know, I mean, if we're thinking through rebel riggers here, it looks, it looks like a rebel rigger would look, or a rebel cruiser would look. So anyways, there's that. And, uh, let's see what it comes with. Well, you've probably already guessed what it comes with. Oh my god, this is the bot show. Whatever, I'm rolling with it! We got three crew members here, two weapons, dual, dual lasers, and the whole beam. Which are both, you know, they're both vanilla weapons. All, all together, it was a very vanilla ship, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Also, I should mention, alongside that, we have the new enemy classes mod and the balanced arsenal mod. Both by, uh, that, that one guy. <laughs> wow, this is a really botched intro. Oh well, I'll deal with it. But yeah, so yeah, here we go. I'm probably going to keep the uh, new classes mod and the uh, balanced arsenal mod with me for quite a while, actually. You know, they st they blend into the game well overall, I feel, so I'm going to keep them with me. They're probably going to stay inside of a lot, and I mean a lot of mods. Alright, so a rebel ship has been patrolling its region. Unfortunately, it realizes, hey, wait a second, the rebel light cruiser isn't a real thing. So he decides to try and attack us. He's got a defense drone mark one as well as a basic laser, so essentially we're freaking invincible. God mode, baby! Woo! We cannot be touched by this filthy rebel scum, and we can just easily touch them. Don't take that the wrong way, and don't take that out of context, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't. I'll be tech I'll be taken into custody and horribly mutilated by the police department. Three fuel and nine scrap is actually not bad. Plus six missiles. Wow, that was a great that was a great beacon to start off with. Oh man. Get a ton of basic supplies, all with an easy fight. Auto assault. Intervene and defend the outpost. By the way, if you're noticing a higher frame rate, it's because I, uh, I've gotten DX Tory now, which is so far has been serving me a lot better. So this is not only going to be a trial r or a uh, live trial run of the Rebel Light Cruiser. It's going to be a live trial run of uh, what's it called, the uh, of DX Tory as well. All right. So dual lasers. Where am I gonna fire these babies? We're gonna fire her in the web shields. I, I might regret this decision, but at the same time, I might not, because the took down his heavy laser, meaning that that ion damage is pretty much non-existent for me. Alright, where else am I going to fire the dual lasers? Well, why, where else other than the weapons? Bring out down their, uh, bring down their ion beam. whoop de doo whoop de doo 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 all the doo da day And there's nothing left to do but finish him. So once that first laser hits, we're going to open fire with the laser beam, and that's going to finish him off. Doesn't even matter that we destroyed his piloting, he's dead anyway. We got two fuel and seven scrap, and as well as an extra missile and another 18 scrap, baby! This is, these are some good initial beacons, oh man, I'm glad I took this path. And now we've hit void. Oh, trade one fuel for four missiles, eh, that actually, you know, realistically that's a great deal, I'm gonna take it. I don't know if we're ever going to be getting missile weapons, but if we do, we can use the hell out of them. We've already got more starting missiles than uh, most other missile, missile uh, holding ships. And it's a bounty hunter. This is a new class of ship. I don't think we can carry this one before. We're going to attack the slaver scum in hopes of getting our own slaves. That's an interesting ship layout. Uh, unfortunately, this does also mean that they've only got one uh, one thing of a jig. Now, I believe this is the light beam, meaning that, sh that it uh, highly damages crew, if I recall correctly. Unfortunately for them, it doesn't damage shields, so he can't really do anything to me. Uh, oh, also can't damage systems. So yeah, it's pretty much a pure anti-personnel weapon. Either way, we're going to open fire on their shields so we can get as many laser beams as we feel ne is necessary. Which is, of course, all of them. We're going to accept their offer out the bat. We get scoops of mantis. Eh. Well, at least he gets to go shoot some other creatures. Not the best thing in the world, but oh well. Uh, let's get one going down. Honestly, I think I would have preferred a... I don't know. I, I'll keep the... I, I'm going to say I would have preferred an NG, but that's a lie. I, although I believe it now. I won't believe it in a minute. We're going to de demand the surrender of their goods. It's another laser barge by another. I mean, our first laser... It's a laser barge armed with two old lasers. Wow, Rebels. Wow. Watch out, guys. We got some technology over here. Uh, that's, I don't know, I, something about that just sounds pretty funny. It's a ship all about firing lasers, and they've got two old dusty lasers that they, that they pulled out of their grandma's closet. And they're dead. That was easy. <laughs> 
Now I get three fuel, twenty drone parts. Though I mean, 20, oh, twenty drone parts. Good God! What? No, we got twenty scrap. That's the more like it. And a Federation scout. Wow. First time we've encountered one of these guys in quite a while. That, that's uh, that's sarcasm. Oh, we got oh three fuel, nine scrap. Actually, ain't bad. But we're gonna be here and try and attack the pirate. I'm not gonna take your bribe. I'm not some filthy scumbag from the other end of the galaxy. Uh, let's see here, dual lasers. Where am I going to fire those? I'm going to fire those on the weapons this time. I want that Artemis and or Leto offline right now. And or Leto. Okay, so apparently this is both an Artemis and a Leto going on in my mind. And it looks like we might not fi figure out what weapon it is either way, which I am perfectly okay with. Perf oh, it took two power. That means it's an Artemis. Fun fact for you, there's actually two versions of the Artemis. There's the, uh, there's the version that goes on the Kestrel, which only takes one power, and then there's the other Artemis, which, uh, takes two power. It's quite clear that they had the other Artemis. Yeah, there's missiles underscore two, and then there's missiles underscore two underscore player. So, yeah, that's a little fun fact for the day for you. We got a rock troop ship. He's got a four-room teleporter. Are they going to use it? Yes. Uh, they're gonna use one. Oh, uh, who's gonna win this one? We got Wai Xing with 88, Scoops with 84. It looks like Wai Xing's gonna win that one. Unless, unless the NG can go in and tank for him. Go, Martin, go! You're the, you're the, you're the beef in this operation. Keep, oh, keep Scoops alive long enough to get, uh, Wai Xing out of here. Don't give, oh, 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 whoa, that's dual, that, no, 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 that's bad. That's, that's really bad. Oh my. Uh, alright, that Mantis is dead. Good, but we need to get everything back online right bloody now. The engines are offline. Oh my god, this could not have gone worse. Uh oh. Uh, thankfully there are a lot of systemless rooms for me to absolutely drive the point in that they are gonna die. Uh, how can I hit this? For maximum damage, but also maximum utility. Uh, I'm gonna hit him like this. That's only six damage. I mean, eight damage. What did I say? I'm gonna accept the fuel, or I'm gonna accept the offer because I don't want to fight these guys anymore. Honestly, I should be surrendering to them, but don't let them know that, or else, uh, uh oh, uh, get out of there. We're gonna, we're just gonna vent this room. All right. Luckily, all we have to deal with now is the asteroid belt, which means we should be fine. Keyword should. Oh boy. I'm gonna just preemptively dump the oxygen room of fire, or of oxygen, be, or of, yeah, yeah, there we go. Dump the oxygen room of, uh, raw, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 almost an English sentence, but I gave up. Yeah, you know what I was saying. Uh, well, you know what I was hitting at there. Alright, let's just put this last fire out so I can finally get on out of this place. Alright, we're good, we made it against all odds. Uh, thank goodness. Unfortunately, we are also drifting through an asteroid field, that's a... That seems like a hilariously bad idea. I mean, come on, did you guys see Armageddon? They're flying the ship and they still got hammered in the face by that asteroid. Meanwhile, I'm drifting through. Alright, go ahead and depower that. We don't need that online anymore. Martin, you can get back there. Ken, you're back on engines, and what do you know? We made it. We survived against all odds and against that terrifyingly powerful arsenal. My god. And they may be old lasers, but damn, they get the job done. Uh, we're gonna dock and try and rescue the survivors, and we get, uh, Dr. We got Dr. Jones. Excellent. Hey, it's a rock man! Oh my god, that is so funny, you have no idea. Alright, so I did try and record this before. Unfortunately, Fraps completely lost it on me, which is what, you know, which is what eventually made me realize, hey, I need to go get DX Tori. So yeah, I did that, and this is the exact same crew that I had. Two humans, an NG, a Mantis, and a rock man. Wow, that is... FTL, man. You're, you're making up for past amends, aren't you? Are you just happy that I'm finally running you at 60 frames per second? <laughs> I'd imagine that's it. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and keep on exploring these beacons. That one held nothing, so we gotta start making up time. And there's a rock asteroid miner. That's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what his specialty will be, but we're gonna attack him regardless. You asked for it. Actually, yes, I did. I pressed the button that said attack the pirate. Uh, Alright, what are we going to strike at here? We're going to strike at their weapons because they have missiles. Filthy, filthy missiles. Uh, we took down everything except for the missiles. That's unfortunate. Ah, Mantis, you can repair that. I, I have faith in you. I have faith in thee. No, ha never have faith in a Mantis. That's a terrible idea, by the way. Uh, Alright, we're going to open fire this way. And they look like they don't want to fight. They're trying to run away like little babbies. Too bad they're dead. Oh, but they still hit us. That's pain. We're down 75% whole. That's uh, interesting. Three fuel, eight scrap. Uh, wait, does this one have lower health as well? Does it? Wait a minute. No, no, that's 75%, I believe, is it? Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I'm working this through in my head. One, two, three, four.
before. Okay, that's just a waste of everybody's time. Uh, let's get on out of here. Whatever, man. I don't know. It seems to be too close to 66%, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh, uh, we got Federation Bomber with a neutral relationship. Uh, we're gonna fight him. He doesn't have much going for him. He's got a lot of systemless rooms, and he doesn't have any services that I care about. We're too close to the exit for the delayed rebels to do anything, and uh, we're also too close to the exit for the map to do anything. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You just don't. You're just not offering anything I care about. So now I'm going to hit you for seven damage. Delicious seven damage. Uh, four fuel, and nine scrap. That's a great deal. I'm gonna take that. I've been taking a lot more surrenders today. What can I say? I feel, I'm feeling generous, man. I'm feeling generous. And uh, look, we got an auto infiltrator. That's a new class. Well, we're gonna attack him anyways. We can't get a look at the layout until their uh, cloaking is done. However, if this bot does what I think it does, which unfortunately it did not. Oh, yeah. Ah, looks like the exact same as every other auto. Uh oh. Oh, they did our shields, but Inji will be able to get those online in time. Hopefully. Alright, there we go. That was easy enough. And let's get to mark their end as soon as the whole beam goes off, which it did. Success! Alright, 15 scrap investigate the session with another 10 scrap and a heavy laser mark 1. Booyah! Uh, I'm actually gonna try and get that one online. There we go. That was easy enough. <laughs> uh, also, let's go ahead and get... Wow, we got a lot of scrap this... Uh, we got a lot of scrap in this one. This, uh, whatever it's called. The Sector. There we go. Uh, there's an Uncharted Nebula or a Zoltan. We're gonna go to the Zoltan. I generally like to go to Nebulas if uh, I have a long-range sensors. If I don't, then I tend to avoid them. Because there's a lot of systemless beacons, and those ones will only have four teleports, which serve nothing but to give you a headache. And they, uh... <laughs> There's also net ion storms, which I absolutely hate running into. There's a Federation medevac. We're gonna give them the two fuel, and they give us 27 scrap. A huge deal! Deal of the century right there, and we're gonna sort of dance around the shop and then finally visit. We're gonna go window shopping first. Uh, energy fighter. Uh, I'm certain his clearing clues that you must not destroy my vessel in the process. Uh, I'm sorry, bro, but I don't have what it takes. I'm gonna leave him. Zoltan is displeased, but directs you to a nearby star base, just the same. Uh, yeah. It's unfortunate, but I suppose I could have destroyed the ship, but I'm not an asshole, so you know. Uh, despite the precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across the sector, so we gotta kill him. It's a Federation scout, which is vanilla, which is a vanilla ship, so you know that works out. Unfortunately, they do have some pretty nasty lasers here, so uh, we're gonna open fire over there, and then we're gonna fire the heavy laser, and just in the nick of time, baby, just in the nick of time. And next up, we're just going to open fire with everything onto the shields. Uh, that might be a bit excessive, but I don't care. Their weapons are dead anyway. And fire the laser, and that's it. They're done. The laser bar the laser and beam barrage comes together. We get three more fuel and 18 scrap. Did I? Am I playing on easy? Did I not pay attention when I pressed the difficulty? Because the game's being way too friendly. We had an E-shield barge. An energy shield barge. I assume that means that these guys are all about the D. Defense, that is. Nature of the day is rotational. The fever is immense. Im whatever. Complicated English words. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm bad at English because I'm not necessarily bad at it, but I'm not good at it either, is the thing. Uh, will I be able to drain their shields in time? No. But I'm going to open fire anyway. And we're going to fire the whole beam. Get that out of the way. Alright, well, now their energy shield is down. Now they're free to be the whole beamed. So that's gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. 8, 6, 7, 5, 3, 0, 9, baby. Alright, dual lasers. I'm gonna fire them now. No, now. Now. And uh, once the second one hits, then we're gonna strike them like this for the beautiful 7 damage. And that's it for them. They're done. I gotta say, we got a nice little loadout going here. We got 26 scrap and 2 missiles. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the aesthetic of the ship is starting to grow on me. Is it aesthetic or aesthetic? I believe it's aesthetic. They have one gigantic systemless room. Unfortunately, you can't hit it for multiple times, so we're gonna have just gonna have to take what we can get. Wait a minute! They don't have a weapon system. I have never in the history of my entire FTL career seen that. That's interesting. That's actually really interesting. I did not know that that was even possible. But apparently it is, so uh, we're going to open fire on their drone since that's the only thing really worth hitting, I suppose. Not really, actually. That's a lie. Uh, I think I might fire it. Nope, I fired the uh, heavy laser just in the nick of time. Uh, we're going to fire it like this. Cause as much damage as possible, and that's going to be it for them, pretty much. They will not survive another barrage or just another heavy laser, which here comes, by the way. Bye-bye! 
And they have fallen before my wrath. We got three fuel and 22 scrap. That's awesome. <laughs> Getting all that sweet fuel. I don't think it's possible for me to... Yeah, I have to be playing on easy. What the hell? Huh. That's real... Oh. Oh, maybe not. Alright, let's pump up the oxygen. Or, er, pump off the oxygen. Pump on that. We have one human who decided to just randomly spawn in there. Alright, I'm going to send you in there to back him up. Hopefully you can draw the... Good, he did draw... In fact, draw the slugs fire. This human is going up against the rock man. I could not think of a dumber decision for him to make. He has an interesting beam. Maybe this is the light beam. I don't know what this one does, but... Either way, we're going to find out. We're going to see if it's a shield breaker. Nope. No, it is most definitely not. Alright, so that human got crushed, no pun intended. And it's time for us to kill the Mantis Scout with the hostile relationship. Uh, where are we gonna fire? They really don't have anything I'm afraid of, so we're gonna fire on the shields. And, uh, commence with the laser beaming. That's only six damage, but it's enough to kill them, so I'll take it. And now we get to watch as their crew desperately tries to survive. We get an anti ship field mark one. I'm definitely gonna wanna get the drone control now. And, wow, that was easy to fend off, don't you think? Uh, send the Rockman in to heal him up and crush the NG as well. And there we go, that was it. They boarded the wrong ship. Oh my god, yeah, I have to be on easy. I've already gained 136 scrap. Did I press the easy button and not realize it? Oh man, that's... It's, I don't know, I hesitate to say embarrassing because honestly, I know people who, can, who have a hard time being this game on easy even, but... I don't know. I suppose it's more embarrassing that I didn't my notice myself pressing the freaking difficulty button. Either that or the game's just being significantly more generous than usual. Numantus, they're here, please! And then they try and kill us instead. Alright, it's time for us to dominate them. There's Mantis in the weapons room. Uh, go ahead and back him up. Who's gonna win this fight? I'm not actually sure. It looks like Weston is. But at the same time, you never know. Alright, time to open fire on their ship. No, it's not. We're gonna wait on the whole beam to get maximum DPS. They hit us in the oxygen. You go fix that right hell, right the hell now. And yes, indeed, Scoops is going to win this one. Who's gonna win this one, however? It's looking like Brecton is. Is that Brecton or Brecken? That's Brecken. Brecken Ridge, maybe? Who knows? Alright, open fire on the weapons because missiles are a pain in the butt. And we're going to be able to cause the sweet six damage there. Uh, Scoops, man, don't die on me. Scoops holds on, just barely. Get you two guys to the med bay, because the last thing I want to do is have to deal with dead crew members. Those letters home are not easy to write, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have no idea what he even said right there. Fire! And that's it, we didn't have to resort to the whole beam, they're done! One field and 17 scrap, that was easy enough. And we're back up to 153 scrap. Yeah, I'm playing on easy difficulty. No way, no no way, no how about it. Apparently, somehow, I'm playing on easy now. My friends, please, there's nothing I don't have, and blah. Uh, we can get advanced FTL navigation. Uh, no, thank you, not really. My money, my scrap is best spent elsewhere. Uh, I'm gonna, I bought fuel because I honestly can't tell you why. I'm going to go ahead and get the full fix. Why not? Uh, I'm going to wait until we can come across a uh, new... S nah, I'm going to upgrade my uh, engines, actually. Upgrade that. I'm going to upgrade my engines one, twice. Alright, there we go. There we go. Now we got level 4 engines. That's that's pretty sweet, actually. Not going to lie, I'm going to enjoy this really high dodge chance we've just acquired. Alright, here's the asteroid belts. We got an... What? An energy interceptor that doesn't have a shield threw him in an asteroid belt. Oh, the irony. The delicious, delicious irony. Oh, uh, is that irony, actually? I don't think so. No, that's not irony. That's, uh... That's just deli- I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I might- I- Yeah, I can't tell you what this is, but it's delicious nonetheless. Alright, I guess just open fire. They're gonna die here. That's, uh, that's the end of them. Didn't even have to wait for the whole beam to charge. Wow, that was easy. Oh my god. We have three more fuel. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Something beyond my measure is going on. Uh, I'm not gonna go to that, to that distress beacon. That's a very poor decision. Uh, we got here. Except the bribe? No. I'm gonna be a hero. That's a terrible bribe. Good. And plus, I wanted to hear this music. This is right here. The little do, do. Ah, whatever. I like this part. I like this part of the music. I believe this is, uh, Cosmo's Battle, I believe. The very end of Cosmo's Battle. Alright, either way, let's stop talking about music. And where are we gonna fire now? We're gonna fire on the shields. Shields of steel, or, you know, electric magnetic force. Six missiles, mother of god! I'm gonna take it. One of these days I'm gonna find a missile launcher, and when I do, my wrath shall become clear <laughs> to all those who oppose me. Uh, I'm gonna buy six fuel for 12 scrap. Get it while it's cheap. No reason not to. And it looks like we're gonna get to fully explore this beacon. 
Eh, it's just a toolist, tourist trap. A toolist trap. <laughs> what? Duke Nukem's in there. Hey! Alright, FTL. Oh, oh, there we go. This is what I've been waiting for. We're gonna sell 15 missiles, 45 scrap. That's a huge benefit there. Yet another Zoltan controlled sector. I'm not gonna go to the nebula because I don't have long range sc sc scanners, sensors. Alright, you've entered another Zoltan territory. We're gonna see if we can run into anything here, although I doubt it. There's a store over here. Let's see what they got. Uh, do they have drone control? Because I would be very interested in that. There it is, 80. Oh, uh, what can I sell for that? I can sell the FTL jammer. Fuck it. I want the... Oh, I almost bought the wrong system. Whoa, that would have been awkward. I want that drone control. Baby, yeah. We are defense. And then, of course, we also have our auto ship, which we're going to equip right now. Equipment. Boom, baby. We have 15 uh, drone controls, so, you know, that's good. <laughs> we are now rocking it. Uh, I do want to upgrade my drones next, though, so I can get both of them running at the same time. So we're effectively now a Rebel Rigger, except even more powerful. Uh, Zoltan, the nature of the day is rotational. They've gone down. Oh my god! That's not an IL Mark II. That's something far more dangerous. Far more vicious. Far more nefarious. Far more terrifying. Oh, by the way, I should probably allocate power to that uh, anti-ship drone. Uh, with that, I should be able to get the Zoltan shield down very quickly. That was easy. Oh, you should probably start manning the shields, by the way. And you should get back on weapons. There we go. Maybe that might think that might make things back. Yeah, ah, that might make things easier. Whew. Wow, I go. I make some weird noises when I stump trip upon my words. And well, that's it for them. They're done. Oh, and they didn't even get to get the bomb. The bin, the bomb is in mid teleportation. Oh, it's like when you destroy a pylon right next to a gate, or right as a bunch of units are teleporting onto them in StarCraft. It's just so delicious. That's a word I've been overusing recently. Alright, I got one extra power bar to dedicate to drones. I have no quarrels with throwing drones around left and right now. I have a lot of drone parts, and apparently since I'm playing on easy, I don't suspect coming across them will be difficult. Uh, we'll dock with them. We've been studying the f relationships between species and have determined that the Federation still has potential to be a net positive for the galaxy. Alright, sweet. Now, uh, th I'm not actually sure if there's a negative consequence to docking with them. I've never encountered it, but... Hey, you never know. He's an asteroid belt. Uh, we're gonna interfere and save the mantis ship because I like a challenge. That, and I just like... <laughs> I just like how funny it is when you try and save the mantis ship because nothing goes right when you do this. It's an energy shield barge. It's not gonna hold mantis, and I'm going to take all of the asteroid hits. I'm gonna double up on the asteroids, which is why, you know... I just like the extra challenge, and also I should probably... Yeah, whatever, it's too late now. Just open fire. Bring that energy shield down. And we're gonna... Oh, shit, they did manage to break our shields. Uh-oh. Now, this is where things get interesting. Again, this is why I wanted to pick this one. Because it's, uh... It's always funny when this happens. Oh, man, at least they are focusing fire on us. I like the challenge. I'm already on easy mode. I have to make it more difficult on me. <laughs> Said the masochist. Or the sadist, whichever you prefer. They did hit us with an Artemis missile, which, uh, is annoying, to say the least. Oh, damn. That's... that. Okay. I'm regretting my decision immediately! Alright, alright, I just, no, just calm down, Ca keep calm and kill Zoltans. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility. Now Artemis is going to hit the shield and kill my Angie! Uh... Well, it's looking like my cockiness may have gotten me killed here. Hmm, indeed. Our shields are completely down, they're going to hit us with another f three lasers. I don't know if it'll actually kill me, but it's certainly going to make things far more complicated. Oh, boy. No, I can't just vent the oxygen room. Uh, shit, I'm gonna... Alright, Mantis, just go remedy what you can, man. Oh, my... Oh, are you kidding me? Every shot missed, huh? Every shot? Oh, my God. So this is how I die, eh? Nope, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Alright, it's... It's not death, but it's certainly close to it. Ugh. Oh boy, things are not going to be easy here. All right, both of you guys. T I said both of you guys together. How dare you defy my orders, human? How dare you, good sir? Good sir? Ha! <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, he defied my orders. Why would I call him good sir? All right, let's go ahead and get this oxygen back online. That's a huge problem right now. Oxygen levels are getting a little bit low. Actually, they're getting a lot of low. All right, oxygen is back online, however, so uh, the med base should be able to survive. I am going to cautiously leave the oxygen so that we can heal up these guys. Uh, actually, you can go over there to shields. Put out that... Actually, nope, the fires have all put themselves out. All right. Back to the med bay. Everyone's getting healed up. Oh, man. 
I paid the price for my cockiness there, didn't I? I lost an NG and almost died. Overall, though, I, I think we came out net positive. The NG was a scumbag, trust me. <laughs> Just trust me. Take me by my word. Alright, uh, Rockman's gonna go over there and do what he can to the shi- er, for the shields, rather. Actually, no, you should go over there and fix the, uh, sensors. It's gonna take you ages to get back to- Oh, fuck me, go. Nope, 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 nope. You know, I was kinda hoping that the oxygen was gonna recharge in time, but apparently not. Alright, well, it looks like we're gonna get everybody fixing the, uh, fixing the shields at once there. Alright, sensors are back online. You can go ahead and get a head start before everyone else does. Would you- Ah. Uh. All right. Wow, man, that's that's annoying though that we lost the NG. It's not the end of the game, but it's certainly annoying. Uh, that's a bug that they really need to fix though. That it's I'm pretty sure it's a well-known bug, but it's a bug nonetheless that when you try and save the mantis, you take double the asteroids, and they don't take one of them. So uh, that's just one of those things. Uh, it's one of those things that's just like challenge accepted. That and I like to try and save the mantis. The mantis are a cool race that cool do cool things. A.K.A. they kill and eat people. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just like the Mantis, alright? If you don't like it, then you don't like me. Alright, let's go ahead and move you over there, Mr. Jones. And, well, everyone's back into position except for the NG, but no one cares about the NG anyway. <laughs> That's a lie. They're one of my favorite... I forgot to power up the shields. Uh-oh. We... Oh. Uh, Mantis board the docking room. Shit. <laughs> alright, let's get everyone else into position. Meanwhile, the pilots got... Oh... Alright, things are really complicated now. Uh-oh. Alright, I guess the best I can do is try and force the surrender. Get out of there! Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and force the surrender here. Uh, which means it's time to go all in. All in, baby! Let's do this! Get that anti-ship drone going. And we're gonna try and hammer them as hard as physically possible. Alright, wait for the whole beam, wait for the whole beam. They did destroy our... They did completely annihilate our dodge chance, and they do have an Artemis, which is uh, less than optimal. Alright, all in. Fire everything on the shields, and now that that stuff's down, let's go ahead and strike him for the sweet six damage. And are they got? They're not gonna surrender. Fuck. Oh my god, they got a pretty high level boarding crew. Maybe I'm not playing on easy. Maybe I'm wrong. In which case, well, that's awkward. <laughs> a sort of oh shit, the bed. Oh, uh, I did fire on the shields. All right, they're dead. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to deal with the boarding crew. What system are they in? They're in the weapons. What other system are they going to go for shield? Oh my god, this is not going to be easy. If they destroy one more system, that's the end. I can't... Oh, wait, they're trying to get out of weapons, it looks like. Alright, I'm for that. I'm all for that. Please, come. Come to the come to the med bay. I invite... I invite the... Oh, nope, they're trying to... Where, what the fuck are they doing? They're trying to take down the... I have no idea. I don't know what's going on, honestly. Everyone into the engine room! We need to save our ship. Oh boy, this is that was a really close call though. It looks like we did manage to just barely pull out that one alive. Holy crap! My fan holding on by the skin of his teeth there. Oh man! All right, so you need to go heal. I'm pretty sure everyone needs to heal actually. Yeah, Scoops, uh, Jones. Oh, yeah, I said Jones. Come on, Doctor Jones. You're a doctor. You're supposed to be smart. All right, I can get another power bar, but the rest of it I'm gonna have to dedicate purely to healing. And saving my own life. Alright. Uh, go ahead and get you over there to fix the uh, sensors. Man, things have been going spiraling down here ever since I decided to intrude on uh, Zoltan space. My fan, you get over there. And we should be able to fix all these systems in time to in time for supper. Which is funny because it's 11.30pm right now for me. Supper's already passed. Oh well. Midnight snacking may as well be a supper for me. <laughs> Alright, where were you? You were, uh, Kin, you were on the, uh, web- Oh, wait, I don't have anyone manning the shield. Should... In... I... Why have I not had my Mantis on the shield? That's a, that's a silly decision. Where are the stores? There they are. <laughs> Found it! Ladies and gentlemen, at the very last possible moment, I've done it. I have survived! I do already have the, uh, tough ship, although I don't know if I've got it on normal difficulty, so... Oh, wait, actually, wait, yeah, I haven't gotten on normal difficulty. Now's a good time to figure out if we're playing on normal or easy. All I have to do is get myself back up to max health. Uh, well, nothing there but uh, a tip on how to kill Zoltans. <laughs> Don't worry, it's very easy to kill Zoltans, trust me, they're squishy. They're very, very easy to kill. We're gonna send the Rock crew member in to put out the fire. We're gonna talk about the Spider-Vers and we get a repair arm with 34 scrap. Someone in the comments tries to tell me that, uh, that the repair arm is a bad deal, and to you, I say no. 
I like the repair armor. It's only a 15% scrap penalty. Early in the game, that is... Oh, well, no, then again, he was talking purely about the, uh, what's it called? He was talking purely about the Overlord. So, then again, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me and my mindless rambling, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Go ahead and, uh, we're not, not gonna fire the weapons just quite yet. We're gonna eat this Artemis. Mmm. Tastes good. I love me some Greek goddess. Some Greek goddess of the hunt. Alright, and then we're gonna fire... Oh, we did manage to bring the Artemis offline. Baby! Booyah! Alright, where are we gonna fire on now? Next up, we're gonna fire on the weapons of that and piloting on this and we're gonna miss everything because fuck you too game fuck you too all right we're gonna have to wait for another barrage here all right here we go open fire just fire everything on the weapons since apparently hitting this guy is difficult oh and open fire and we don't kill him we he's holding on with one hp the bastard of course he is all right fire the heavy laser fire the dual lasers and finish him bit sloppy oh well i I got the job done, all right, and we are gonna have to have an encounter with the rebel fleet, which is unfortunate, but oh well, unfortunate by necessity. That's a new gun. Oh wait a second, that's the artillery. That's the artillery heavy. I think that can pierce up to level three shields. That's a huge problem. Uh oh, we need to kill him now. Oh boy. All right, so oh, it looks like he might get a shot off there. He missed. Er. All right, open fire off that. The whole beam should be ready to rock and roll. Nope, I missed. Don't hurt me! Ah! All I remember is that I absolutely adored that weapon, and now I can see why I did. And now I can see that I'm eating my own words. Not my own words. I'm eating my own favorite weapon right here. All right, how am I going to do this? I'm going to attack the shields like that. Get the four damage going. Nope, only three. He teleported back so we can fall back in. Uh, heal our mantis there. Close that door. No need to have it just hanging open there. And once the Mantis is back up to speed, you can go back into the shield room. Sun tells me they're going to try and board me again. I did manage to take down the, the uh, heavy beam artillery, so thank God about that. And I'm going to get out of here. i got plenty of fuel. The one extra fuel does not interest me. We're going to go to the Mantis controlled sector against my better judgment. But also, this is the only place possible to go to. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep our eyes peeled here. Last thing we need is an ambush by the Mantis. There's nothing here but some space debris and uninhabitable planetoids. They aren't plants, they're planetoids. Poor Pluto. Alright, what have we got around here? We got a Mantis Interceptor who is way far too low. Agreed, next ship is here is good hunting. They don't have a teleporter, but they do have some pretty nasty beam weaponry. And I don't have cloaks, so uh, we're going to attempt to remain concealed. And they failed to notice me, thank god. There's a shop! I get to heal myself, yes! Alright, you have scrapped quickly come before the warriors see you. Ah, <laughs> even the mantis. Alright, time for the moment of truth. This is not worth it at all. This is the one with the one the Oh, wait. Actually, no. I'm going to get my MG back. And I'm going to use the rest of my scrap to heal. Three scrap for a fix. That's actually really... That's actually a hilariously bad deal. My god. Screw you, mantis. But, oh, send the rock crew member in. And, uh, eventually the fire starts to die Ah, we get the shield recharge booster as well as 45 scrap. That's awesome. Uh, we can repower the oxygen, by the way. Alright, so, uh, Sophia. We are a new engine here. Go back to shield's room. And that's actually really good. We're back to our traditional crew. We're back to the we're back to the perfect crew, except for the fact that there's a rock man and humans. Ugh, detestable lot, the two of them. Uh, well, I suppose three of them. I was referring to species, though. I was just talking to species in general. I'm very speciesist, in case you can't figure out. Is that even a word? I don't know. We're gonna pry it open, and... Oh, the mantis inside considers you a messenger from the god and mer god of mercy and demands to join your crew. We get Debbie! Booyah! We get yet another mantis. Alright, so now the teleport is looking like a great idea. It is only going to be a two-room teleport, which is perfect, because we have two mantis who are doing jack shit aboard our ship right now. And it means our scrap and scrap returns from combat are going to be much higher. Unfortunately, teleporters aren't cheap, but well, the scrap has been just flowing in recently. So we got an auto scout. All right, that's just your typical auto scout. Nothing special there. I'm beginning to think that I'm not playing on normal or not playing on easy, and are in fact playing on normal because uh, they have breach missiles, and level three shields. That's huge and uh, really annoying and really dangerous. As well as that, that's not going to do much. I don't think. Oh my god, this is not going to be easy to cope with. Fire! Wait, fire that, and then fire that, and then we're... I, f I have a bad feeling like we're just going to eat this missile, which really sucks! Ah! And they hit us on the freaking sodding piloting deck. Ah! 
Whatever, put that fire out before Ken dies. My fan dies, excuse me. Oh, believe me. I, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Alright, fuck it. Fire up that. And then we're gonna open fire on this. I want that thing gone. No! I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. No, I missed. Oh, but he missed as well. Thank God. Uh-oh. Our engines have been hit. We still have 22% evade chance, but that's not an amount that I'm willing to bet my life on. Oh, come on. We can kill him. Open fire. Oh my god, we can kill him. We can kill him. We have to kill him now. Uh oh. Oh, uh, they're gonna get away. And they're gonna hit us with one last sodding missile. Of course. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, well, unfortunately, I did get. I'm probably gonna have to get the mantis out of there. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna last. They did their best. Oh no, it looks like they will. Ah, uh, it's a risky maneuver. Alright. They took care of it. Although they are mantis, they may did manage to fix the system. Alright, there goes Sophie. Alright, you're back to normal. Get out of there. Get back into a useful position, and meanwhile, we're gonna jump. The uh, Rebels get a huge increase in their speed, because that ship was a pain in the ass, but... Oh, well. Oh, uh, your world all of a sudden changes the Mantis on board your ship. <laughs> oh, come on, that's not that bad. Alright, get the Rockman and uh, NG in here to take care of this one. My fan, you need to go heal up, and I'll, I'm gonna try and get the mantis in here to uh, deal with this, to deal with this, these guys before they can probably open the door. Hopefully, we'll be yes, just in the nick of time. All right, let's see who's gonna win these engagements. Looks like uh, Debbie is going to win this one. He's got some combat experience. She maybe. Uh, as for this one, this one's a lot more sketchy. I'm not gonna risk Scoop's life. It's too close to battle. Oh, never mind. I take that back entirely. Scoop's got this. Debbie, on the other hand, is now losing the fight. I believe. Oh my God, yes she is. Oh. Oh my god, get out of there, get out of there, Debbie. Oh, she managed to get the kill. Yes! Just barely, it's always a terrifying moment when the Mantis are on board the ship. My fan, you can get back over there. Jones, you're in there. Sophia, you're gonna wait, and so are you, Ken. Alright, get everyone into position. Everyone's walking around on the ship. There ain't no, got no patience for sitting around, ladies and gentlemen. No, I do not. Alright, Jones, you're back in the weapons room. Where you will never move from for the rest of your life. Uh, Ken, oh, wait, the rest of you, you two mantis can get out of here. I tried to double click them to select all of my mantis. This ain't StarCraft. God, I need to play that game. Uh, Sophia, go over there to shields. I do believe Bryn asked, uh, Bryn Tankage did ask me if I wanted to fight him in StarCraft. I watched his campaign and I remember, I remember very not fondly crying as I watched his hatcheries with seven drones mining. Oh, we're going to demand the surrender of their goods. It's a laser barge. Oh, great. He has two old la- Wow, what was up with these laser barges and having old lasers? Well, nonetheless, it's still pretty freaking terrifying. Alright, depower that one. Bring the anti-ship drone online. And suddenly, resources are looking really scarce all of a sudden. I can't say I'm enjoying this. Oh, boy. Alright, so uh, how are we going to do this? We're going to fire on the weapons. Try and bring some of those guys offline. And then we're going to have the whole beam. Fire like this. Yes, that's a good. No that's a good firing pattern. <laughs> An excellent firing solution for the ages. Now we just gotta wait and f wait to finish these guys off with the dual lasers as the ultimate spit in the face. Oh, never mind. The auto, the auto dro or the anti-ship drone took him down. We got 37 scrap. Not bad. Not good, but not bad either. All right, we're down to three fuel. Holy crap! Where did my fuel buffer go? Uh, repair 10 damage for 20 scrap. There we go. Good, nice, cheap, and easily done. Alright, let's see what we got here. And long range beacon, there's an auto bomber. He's got ions, heavy lasers, dual lasers. I'm gonna avoid this conflict. And let's go on to the next sector. Is the NG homeworlds or the civilian sector? We're going to the NG homeworlds, dude. We can get some good stuff in there. Plus, it's still the green sector. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, my God, there's a store just in the nick of time. We nailed it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. Let's see how much repairs cost here. Three for repairs. Eh, Oh, we got here. We got long range scanners. That's actually very tempting. Uh, I could sell the repair arm. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the repair arm. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Shield recharge booster. I'm gonna keep. Uh, scrap recovery arm. Actually, I'm gonna get that instead. All right, there we go. I do want to try and get the long range sensors. Can I? I don't think so. 22 plus 3 does not equal 30. So looks like I'm just gonna have to roll with what I've got. And well, why not? Spend my last scrap. There we go. And, wow, there's another store right over there. Alright, then, whatever. We did get the scrap recovery arm, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna have our engine crew member contact them. 
Uh, our goals have analogous elements, however, not all available for disclosure. Discretion necessary. All right, we're going to offer our help. And they're going to give us two quest markers. We're going to have to try and go to both of them. They're both right next to the exit. That is perfect. What's not perfect is the we're running low on fuel. Hopefully, we'll be able to find some along the way. We're going to reject their offer and try and kill them for fuel. Or try and make them surrender for even more fuel. Two, human, or two humans have uh, attempted to uh, g arrive and uh, kill my pilot. They're not. Now, though, they're going to realize, oh, hey, this guy is Mantis. Shit. And now the Mantis come on in. They're going to viciously tear him limb from limb. Alright, uh, I do I do want to try and slip my human in there just as they fire the missile because I do want to get that do a little bit of extra dodge chance. Oh, yes, never mind. That works as well. Woo, that's beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, baby. Give me more of that, please, game. Please do. <laughs> that was incredibly lucky. For those of you who don't know what happened right there, my one of my dual lasers came in and shot the missile right outside the gate. Uh, we can open fire on their weapons again, and we miss again. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck you, fuck everyone. Just fuck. <laughs> I'm Zeus, apparently. I like to fuck. Alright, we're gonna go over there. Nope. Uh, come on. There we go. Turn into Sloan for a minute there for like the second time this video. I swear to God, I don't do it on, a on, a on, a on purpose. My inner Stallone just comes out. Is that gonna do it? Oh, nope, it's not. Damn it. I just cannot break this guy's shields. This is why I need missiles. This is why I need missiles like that. Uh, whatever. Oh, actually, no, it's not whatever. There goes my weapons. All right, fuck this. I'm done here. It's not worth it. Uh, we got an empty book. We got an empty book hero, apparently. <laughs> uh, apparently, we have an empty man from uh, Bioshock Infinite. All right, we're gonna. Time, the time has come to heal people. All right, Jones, you can get out of there. My fan, you're gonna get down here, and as soon as Scoops is healed up, he's gonna get out of the way for you. There, excellent. Uh, does the engine, does uh, Ken need healing? No, he doesn't. The engine doesn't need healing either. Alright, there we go, my fan. Get back to the piloting seat right now. Alright, uh, weapons should be back online. Sophie, you can get back over there and uh, power everything up once more. Uh, oh my god, I'm retarded! I have a defense drone! Ah. <laughs> you know, there are times when. Uh, I don't even know. I'm retarded! There! Happy? I said it! I can't believe I forgot I have a freaking defense drone! God! The brilliance is truly stunning for me. I'm uh, gonna power that one, but we're gonna bring the anti-ship drone along for now. And now we're gonna depower that, bring that one online. And he's gonna shoot the Artemis. Excellent work! And open fire like this. These guys appear to have the dodge chance of the sun. I need some freaking bombs. I'm not going to say missiles because I hate missiles and I'm not going to ever sacrifice that fact. But, or compromise on that. But, bombs, however, a whole nother story. Got a whole lot of love for them. Uh, how can I do this effectively? There, that'll do. Nope, nope, never mind. That wasn't effective enough. Fuck me. Well, either way, we are showing signs of being able to kill them, so uh, this defense drone is quickly paying for itself. Hey, check it out! I'm using all, the, all of the resources that I currently have available. And it's working. Holy crap. Oh, apparently the whole beam isn't ready. Oops, that's awkward. Oh, well. Uh, they did fire off another missile, so we're going to get the defense drone. It's going to intercept it like a freaking boss. Can I keep this interceptor drone forever? Interceptor what? This uh, defense drone forever, because this one apparently knows what's up. Oh, my God. And in the end, we end up getting hit by a freaking heavy laser, which was completely unpreventable. Then, unfortunately, this guy does not shoot down lasers. Ooh, that was a nice, that was a nice interception. A catcher in the rye comes in to save the day. Alright, well, may as well get everyone in on this repairing. They're not doing anything else, and the engine's gonna have to advance post to repair it anyway. Oh my god, this rebels, these rebels are being a pain in the butt! And that one hits the doors because I'm retarded, again. Oh my god, my weapons are quickly falling behind, and I'm finding it really difficult to find new weapons, which is <laughs> really annoying. I forgot to deploy the missile again, oh well. I forgot to deploy the missile defense grid. Let's hope the U.S. government doesn't that doesn't do that when North Korea decides to test its weapons. I'm kidding. Uh, that's touching on an issue that doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> uh, does anyone? St I mean, honestly, does anyone still believe that North Korea is actually a threat? <laughs> does anyone actually believe that now? Oh, well, just barely, just barely missed it. Shields have been damaged, which is nasty. Oh, better get over there. Oh man, that fire is actually gonna be rough. Fuck me! 
Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, apparently shields are critical despite the fact that I still have a bar. <laughs> what? What the hell, you find yourselves low on fuel and have a proposition, go to hell, man. Sorry, I don't mean to sound like a jackass, but go to hell. <laughs> I mean it in the politest way possible. Uh, may as well get the mantis over there. They aren't very good at repairing, but two of them counts as one man, so that's uh, technically three people repairing shields. Technically speaking, of course. Oh, boy. Still sitting here on zero scrap. That's a, uh, it's getting annoying. I need some sort of shield-piercing weaponry, or else this ship is not going to last much longer. Dear yeah, Lord, what sector? I'm in sector five, and everyone's getting level three shields. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Am I playing hard difficulty? The difficulty is just fluctuating all over the damn place. We're gonna ignore the station because I don't have enough anything to buy, and I'm out of fuel. Hopefully, we can find some here. Of course not. Uh, we, but we do get a whole repair drone. Hello there, beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna keep that in my in my stash for now. Uh, I'm gonna activate the distress beacon because the rebel fleet is getting pretty close here. Uh, need fuel? Oh, graciously, nope. Yes, will certainly help. Help to retrieve you that nice ship. I'll I'll, do, I'll go ahead and detonate the ship before I let you guys take it. All right, these these guys cannot be in a worse position. <laughs> they're gonna come in and find themselves to rot, and after suffocating, they're gonna finally open the door to, to sweet oxygen. But they're also gonna be stabbed by uh, mantis scythes and uh, rockman clubbing. Uh, I don't know if stabbing actually works in that. Oh my god. Uh, oh well. I was actually kind of hoping there that the uh, the drone spawn was gonna detonate the. Uh, What's it called? It was gonna detonate the. Oh, fuck me. It was gonna destroy the uh, missile, but unfortunately, it turns out the ion did that. They have a fire beam, which is less than optimal, but oh well. Alright, fire everything to bring their energies down. Okay. <laughs> so that's three defense drones that have been shot down today. And it's looking like four. Nope, never mind. Or three that have been deployed. Well, you know what? Whatever. This defense drone missed the shot, it deserves to die. I'm very much a man who believes that if you don't do what you do properly, you should be killed, burned at the stake. That's not true, actually, but still. <laughs> I like to act like I'm a much more horrible person than I really am. Alright, come on, Defense Joe, do it! Oh, there we go. Not as good as the other one I had, but, well, the other one got destroyed by an island, and then the one after that got destroyed by a missile. And in the end, I suppose everything worked out, but still. Alright, go ahead and fire this stuff over there. One, uh, what do we got here? Four fuel, 25, yes! Fuck it, give me the fuel, man. I need it. I need it. Oh boy, unfortunately, it does not look like. Well, we might be able to access all the quests. We are gonna have to have a rebel fleet encounter, but oh well. And there we go. Shields are fully charged. I am fully charged. Unfortunately, not with an uber charge. We're gonna have just enough fuel to access both of these quests. All right. Hopefully, you can extract some information. They're gonna try and run away from me. They do have an assault drone mark too. Fuck me. All right, we're gonna deploy our. Nope. Well, apparently I had to deploy that anyway. It's a good thing I did, because they do, in fact, have a missile launcher. But for now, I'm thinking we're going to be fine. No, we're not. Fuck me. They have a lot of stuff going for them right now. All right, fire that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, even though it did miss. Whatever. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's not really an advantage, but in the, nearly in the guise of one. All right, open fire on that one. And, oh, shit. We actually did it. I was not expecting that to happen. Fire! Ugh. All we have to do is get them to surrender. We don't actually have to kill them. Oh, shit. All right, I'm just going to eat that missile, apparently. And, hey, it missed. Sweet. I'll take it. The longer I can keep the hurting on these guys, the better. All right, the FTL is getting disturbingly high. Which is why I'm now going to fire on the, uh... Oh. All right, whatever. That one missed as well. And how are the shields? Their shields are at maximum. Fuck me. Remember why I said I'm having a hard time piercing shields? Yes. Yes, I am. In case you need confirmation on that fact... There you have it. All right. Uh, go for it. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Stop. I don't want to die here. We're going to demand information. Too bad. You followed the wrong king. All right. Well, I guess we're going to ignore him and attack. <laughs> you can't just make fun of me and expect me to be friendly with you. What are you, stupid? Ah, <laughs> you're an idiot. And uh, when in reality, they're, in dis they're at the huge disadvantage right now. He All right. Well, here we go. We're going to come in for the finishing blow here soon. Uh, looks like that laser is going to make contact. Oh, well. Big whoop. Uh, actually, I should probably get you on shields now. Whole beam is just about ready to rock and roll, and it now is ready to rock and roll. They are also out of missiles, which is uh, awesome. And I missed. Kill them. Now! Oh my fuck! Why? 
Nothing ever works out for me, does it? Nope. No, it doesn't. Welcome to F Welcome to Ginger Dragon Plays FTL, folks. The RNG- Welcome to Ginger Dragon Plays anything that requires RNG. I'm gonna keep my distance. I don't feel like being called Foolish Meat Sacks after that poor display. My poor display, of course, mean annoying display. Alright. And she's told you about- And it's yet- yeah, It's a rebel troop ship. That's new. Uh, I- it's a rebel troop ship that does have a teleporter. Unfortunately, rebel AI is not apparently doesn't know what a uh, teleporter is. All right, these guys only have two shields, however, which is uh, quite nice for me. All right, we're gonna open fire on the shields. These guys are going to be quite easy to take down. Oh, there we go. The shields have already been massively damaged. They missed with their missile, and things are just altogether not going too well for these guys. All right, open fire on uh, I suppose the weapons this time because apparently these guys do actually have some pretty formidable weaponry. I'd be lying if I didn't say that. If I didn't admit that. I mean, not really formidable, but certainly obnoxious. Alright, demand information. Of course, that's why you're here. Yes, they passed by here, but I had nothing to do with it. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Even if it gives you an option, I would let them go, because, you know, they were friendly enough. They were friendly to me. I'm more than willing to let someone go who's friendly. And now we just have to survive this Rebel Fleet encounter, which, uh... I'll be honest, I don't know if we can. They, d they have the triple Lido launcher... Dual lasers and as well. Oh my god, they have everything. Oh, I forgot to heal my mantis as well. Oops, that's silly. Oh well. They're gonna destroy the oxygen. Whoop de doo. The engine will be able to fix that in a jiffy. Alright, but first of all, we gotta kill this rebel scum. Alright, activate the anti ship drone. Oh, wait, can I even pierce their shields? Oh man, that's gonna be really close. Uh, nope, it's not looking like I am. I can't jump away. Oh my god, we're gonna be stuck in this situation, aren't we? Well, you know, again, sur supposing I actually survive. Oh, wait, these guys aren't running away. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks, it's looking like this is going to be the end. Come on, get out of there. Leave the injury to his work. You need to heal. Oh, there goes the weapons. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like this is how we're going to die here. Uh, quick, deploy the defense joint. Eat, take down as many missiles as possible. That wasn't the missile you were aiming for. I don't care. Not the missile you were lo looking for. Oh, my God, I need to repair oxygen, actually. Oh, come on, man. Just because you're in the doorway doesn't mean you can't be selected. Alright, that's back online. Uh, you two go back in there so I can easily, more easily select you. And go over there. Oh my god, this is this is bad. I can't run away because I'm not a fuel. He's not, he's not going to run away because I can't damage him. And that's not the end. Holy shit. It's not the end, believe it or not. Nah, the next fall, the next fall he will. Let's go to the missiles, but the odds of that are negligible to none. Yep, there it comes. Bye bye. And there goes that. Ah, oh, went from such a, having such a great run to just suddenly the game being an, a supreme dick. The RNG that is. That and I just didn't get any shield piercing weaponry, which really sucks. But ultimately, that's the thing that killed me. All right, well that's the end of this one. So be sure to like the video, like to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.